so today I'm going to take you on a driving tour through the neighborhood near the chapel of the Holy Cross. So right now I'm headed south on the 179. I'm actually just leaving West Sedona and headed home. It's a little bit of a cloudy day, um, but a beautiful day. I actually like to take this little detour and drive near the chapel sometimes when I'm headed home uh, because it's just such a beautiful drive. Now I'm going to take this roundabout. If I would go to the right, there's West Chapel Road, but I'm going to go east to the old school, the old Chapel Road. There's the Methodist Church on the right, I believe. And now we are headed up Chapel Road. So there are a lot of beautiful homes on this road. Uh, there might be a little more traffic than some people are comfortable with living on this particular road. Um, the homes in the neighborhood, most of them were older. Some of them built in the 70s. Um, ahead, you could see some of the beautiful rock formations that we have here in Sedona. On the left, a little bit ahead, there is a trailhead. So if you lived in the area, you would have to deal with people uh, wanting to park at this particular trailhead that's coming up. And also people that are going to see the chapel. So during the day, you're going to have a decent amount of traffic on this road if your house happens to belong on Chapel Road. There's the trail parking that I was talking about. So continuing on, though. You might be able to see those two rock formations now that they look like two little fingers sticking up. Those are called the two sisters, the two nuns, the praying nuns, um, but another famous rock formation here in Sedona. Towards the right, you have the most beautiful big house I have ever seen. And ahead, straight ahead, now you can see the chapel, Chapel of the Holy Cross, just sticking out of the side of the mountain. It's amazing. Now... If you continue driving, you can tour the chapel. The parking lot is ahead. The problem is there's not very much parking. So if you can get a parking space, you can t walk up and go into the chapel, and it's free to, tour, free to tour the building. I have not done that yet, but I am very interested in doing that, and I will do that at some point. If you want, you can light a candle for some of your deceased loved ones for either a dollar or two dollars. I actually have many deceased loved ones. I might do that sometime. Um, see the beautiful house right ahead. I am going to take a little jaunt this way. On the left is a lot for sale if you want to build something. I, I don't know what it is listed for because it's a for sale by owner and they don't usually like to talk to realtors. Um, I'm now headed south on just one of the neighborhood roads. You can tell I'm going south because in the distance you could see the very backside of Bell Rock and to the left of that is the backside of Courthouse Butte. Now take a look at this home on the left. That's probably a newer home. When I say newer, probably the 1990s. Um, it's got the adobe look. So you have quite a few of those with the adobe look here. Um, and notice you've got a lot of these beautiful pine trees. I do love pine trees. And now I'm going into another finger. What is interesting here is at the very left side of the screen, you can see part of the Cathedral Rock. So in this cul-de-sac, if you had one of these homes in front of me, then from your backyard, you would be able to see Cathedral Rock, which is one of the most famous rock formations here in Sedona. But now we're going to go straight ahead, and I'm going to show you... Um, Again, we're headed towards the Two Sisters. Now, something I want to point out towards the right. Now, if you look past the stop sign, you see a little sign in that person's yard. The sign says, Homes, Not Hotels. Now, you'll see quite a few of that in these neighborhoods that don't have an HOA because what's happening is investors are coming in and they're buying homes not to live in, not to use as a vacation home, but to use primarily as an Airbnb. And, of course, the locals don't like that. And, you know, could you understand why? Because... Every weekend, every week, you've got a new bunch of people living in the house next door and, you know, they don't always keep it quiet and, you know, you don't get to know your neighbors. So that's kind of a pet peeve of a lot of the neighborhoods there. And um, I do understand now, I live in the village of the Oak Creek where there are no rentals less than 30 days allowed. Now take a look at the right. There it is. There's the Chapel of the Holy Cross. And I am about to head on home, but that's your tour of the neighborhood.